growing up on the prairie, Scott Cumberland had a passion for art. However, never did he imagine his two-dimensional pieces would become a colorful explosion. It's evolved quite a bit over the years. Uh, my undergraduate studies are spent doing uh, representational figure drawing. With large canvases full of color, it may surprise you where his inspiration came from. Ribbon candy. Do you remember ribbon candy? Yeah. yeah. So that's really where it came from. That's how it started. Using colorful squeegees to create this art, Scott found this unique technique by accident. I was painting away and whatever I was doing, I wasn't liking it and it wasn't working and it wasn't working. So I, um, out of frustration, I took it off the wall, I was going to throw it in the garbage. I thought, oh, enough of this. And out I went with my painting and uh, sort of stopped halfway to the bin and I thought, well, put a lot of time and effort into this and I said, whatever, I'll do whatever I want to it and it doesn't matter. Brought it into the studio, tossed it on the floor, you know, without a care and grabbed some paint and just dumped it on there and I grabbed a stick that was lying in the studio and I made a mark. And the mark was really interesting and again it reminded me of that ribbon candy or, or like the striations on a record. Full of color, it's hard not to smile as you take these pieces in. I like to be happy. I like things around me to be bright, cheerful, colorful, and I like people to respond that way to the work. So I get excited when I'm making this kind of work to responding to that type of visual language. So that's just something I try and bring in the works. Now, that being said, they're not always bright and colorful. I'll sort of ebb and flow, right, depending on the mood and the time of year and whatnot as well. And the best part for me was the 3D aspects. We can touch them. That's the best I'll part. Touch it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> because they are so physical, right? Yeah. You know. oh, yeah. So, I mean, we can see it, we can feel the different textures. I mean, that's the best part. Having gone to the U of A and graduated with an MFA, Scott has found a haven that he shares with fellow grads at Blue Sky Studios. There's a group of us, that started off as six, now five artists, and we share this communal space. And we all have our individuals, you can see your spaces. But all the way around, we've kept a hallway open so we can constantly walk into each other's spaces and visit, as I said, give a bit of a reprieve from a work every once in a while, help each other if necessary. Coming full circle, Scott has returned to the U of A where his art career began to now inspire other up and coming artists. So I teach uh, in a few different places at the University of Alberta. So on the main north campus here, I teach uh, fundamentals at all levels of painting, uh, which I absolutely love. I teach at Augustana campus in Camrose, so I make that drive a couple times a week, uh, where I teach drawing, actually. So that's where I came from. And on top of that, it's inspirational. I get excited about my students and what they're doing and when they discover something new. You know, it makes me want to come to the studio and work even harder. Whether it's touring art galleries throughout Alberta or getting in some quality painting in with his son, Scott's ribbons might be popping up in an art gallery near you. For Go Edmonton, I'm Bianca Jade.